Hello friend, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel about the Mercedes-Benz vehicles. I have recently purchased this vehicle and there were some problems with the parking brake which is part of the rear brakes. So in this video I'll be inspecting the rear brakes. Oh look, this will be easy. Somebody already removed the rear wheel for us. So here we go. This is the first nice close-up. Oh. So let's go and look on the details. The surface of the rotor seems to be okay. I'm guessing that also the thickness will be okay when we will measure it later. But unfortunately I see, you know, the signs of low maintenance it wasn't really very often taken apart if you look here it's a lot of actually rust you see that and that just tells me that this wasn't open and lubricated very often obviously part of the brake inspection is checking those lines rubber lines for possible leaks or cracks so everything what is here needs to be checked you know and see if it's okay the brake pads seems to be thick enough but we will inspect them a little bit later because I will take this caliper off in the case you want to measure the brake pad thickness and you don't want to remove the caliper you can use these brake pad gauges right and the way it works you find a space where you can enter them between the brake pad and the uh, rotor right so we can see we are in yellow that was four millimeter I will try the one higher five millimeter if it will fit there and even the five millimeter fits there and it's pretty tight so I can see right that that brake pad on this side it's slightly over five millimeters thick now the caliper is held in the place with two 16 millimeter bolts which are on the back I put that socket you can see it there that's one of them and the other one is here on the bottom so I need to loosen and remove these two bolts before I remove the caliper I have ready a bunch of different hangers because you don't let hang the caliper on the brake lines you already... the bolts were removed these two bolts so it gives me perfectly chance to remove the caliper here you can see how filthy, dirty and rusted it is. Again, if you look with me here, look how big chunks of rust are falling off it. But good news is there is still a lot of material left. So it definitely will need some cleaning. But I don't so far I don't see any reasons to replace it. Also the brake pads, both of them are evenly worn. And they seem to be approximately, I will say that five or six millimeters thick. Now, I said I need the hangers, so I will put it here and hang it on that spring, right? So I'm not putting weight, not placing the weight on that rubber hose. And now I can focus on that rotor. Uh, it's not covered by the pads and the caliper anymore so I can see it's nicely evenly worn and I will measure the thickness of it. I will use my micrometer. General rule you measure the thickness approximately 10 millimeters one centimeter right Just approximately here from the edge. So let's go All right. And the information is on the other side. So I see that rotor it's a 11 millimeters point 10. 11 point 10. 
and the uh, information about the minimum thickness of this rotor is unfortunately on the other side so we have to first remove it in order the, to see what is the minimum allowed thickness on Mercedes Benz you see this one securing bolt which is right here so we have to remove that first and we will be using the star key and in this case I will be using the T30 size so just make sure it's as deep as possible these bolts are not very tight so it shouldn't be a problem to loosen it and take it out and I'm not removing this uh, rotor for a reason to find out what's the minimum thickness of it I'm basically entering the second part of this inspection because below or behind that rotor are the parking brake shoes most of the time the rotor is stuck on the hub so it needs few hits with the sledgehammer to loosen it up never hit the surface here of the rotor that will be a problem and after only few hits it nicely gave up and I can nicely slowly take it off excellent there's a lot of brake dust inside so make sure you don't breathe it in this is very bad stuff for you so let's focus on this rotor right now and this is the part where someone could get frustrated Mercedes-Benz people wrote a repair manual and they went and gave you every single detail and when there was time to give you the thickness of these rotors for the specific cars they say oh no go to the sheet so and so which you might find somewhere and of course we will encast it in the rotor right and they don't encast it here because this is important you will think it will be somewhere here right and many times it's also on the inside either here or here well I can tell you something of course it's not there so we are still only guessing what the minimum thickness of this rotor is another detail about this rotor look how nicely worn is on this side but when you flip it it's already way worse there are heat spots on it and so on so if you see if you're inspecting something you can just look through it through the spokes of the rim even if you remove the rim and look just on this surface that's not right if you pay for inspection it needs to be detailed and all the surfaces and needs to be inspected and now the main reason why I'm doing this inspection you saw in different videos part 1 and part 2 that there was a problem with the parking brake and I suspected damage to the parking part of these rear brakes so far we inspected only the normal brakes but not the parking brake where is the parking brake area on this rotor? Well, it's inside. That's where the parking shoes are grabbing. I cleaned off the dust so you can have a nice visual. And I'm watching the camera display with you. And look, there are high spots. So a lot of scraping. And right on the opposite side is another bad rusted high or, or low spots so there's uneven wear and this rotor definitely in this shape can be a resurface on the brake lathe right because you don't do only this now you have to go also inside or it needs to be replaced and we are still not done now we will proceed to the part to the last part of inspection where I actually expect the highest and or the largest damage so let's go and basically you can see the spreader right here which is super dirty obviously there wasn't any maintenance but the spring and everything seems to be okay and now let's go and look on the shoes and I didn't clean it yet on purpose so you can see in which shape we found it so 
this is one of them. If you look correctly, it broke right here and the remaining part is completely missing, right? Let's look on the other one. So it starts right here and continues this way. Look, in the same spot, it broke off and that entire part, the shoe lining, it's completely missing. So basically this is complete disaster. All those parts needs to be replaced. I expected something like that and I'm actually surprised that the rotor, the inside part, wasn't damaged even more than it is right now. So, okay, as expected, all this needs to be replaced. And this is how I inspected this one side and obviously exactly the same needs to be done on the opposite side. And these are the moments where I wish that I already found a place for my shop which I want to open and I have my brake light, beautiful brake light sitting there and I will be able perfectly machine the rotor from outside and inside and it will be awesome. And I can see you again uh, sitting at home giggling because you know that I will have another video in detail how to replace those shoes and how to fix everything coming your way very soon. So make sure you are subscribed, you are visiting Facebook because way more videos is heading your way in very near future. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.